please be safe. And if it's not too much, I still need to have a drink at the house because this is the worst Friday of my life. Because I have poor balance, like in general. Okay. So is that like gonna hurt me? No. Okay. Is it like normal to do all of these? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I've never been pulled over before. Nope. <laughs> it's arms. okay. Make sure you keep I your arms. You turn around for me really quick, and I'm. <gasps> Are you gonna cuff me? I have to. Okay. Can I tell my boyfriend what's going on first, please? We we will tell him what's going on. Okay. Just go ahead and turn around. Just place your hands behind your back for me. Okay. <laughs> But if you blow and you are over 0.08, it's only for six months. Then why would I refuse? That's, <laughs> trust me, you are the first person that I've ever heard say that to me. The first person ever. <laughs> That's just like sound logic. On March 11, 2023, an officer with the Bloomington, Illinois Police Department initiated a traffic stop. This is what followed. What's up, guys? Hi. Officer DeMoss, Bloomington Police Department. I got a body camera on. Reason for the stop is you didn't use your turn signal just a couple seconds back, and you didn't have your headlights on. I realized I forgot to turn them off when I was sitting in front of the, where it was at before. Okay, sounds good. You got an insurance card on you? I, actually, it's on my phone. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Where are you guys coming from? We're just coming from uptown, smoking glass, by there. Okay. Looks it's good. Home. Okay. And I know my sticker's not good, but I have, I've been putting When did it expire? I honestly don't know, I didn't know that yet. But it's right here, I've just been putting off, putting, my boyfriend's here out of town, I'm gonna make him put it on tomorrow, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, sounds good. I gotta ask, I can smell weed. Do you guys have any weed in the car? No, we don't. Nothing? No, I just happen to smoke a lot, but I haven't been smoking driving, I promise. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking about it. I'm just asking if you have any in the car. No. No? Okay. No. All right, sounds good. Do you, boss? No, I don't. I, yeah, but I'm just trying to be clear. I hear okay. you. Um, so you haven't, is the sticker in here or what? The sticker's in there, yeah. I just okay, got so it in the like yesterday, yeah. I got you. So it's valid then, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Hang tight for a second. I'll be right back with you and get you going, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. All right. Alrighty, ma'am. I'm just gonna be hop out of the car really quick and just talk to me, okay? Okay. okay. Just walk back here with me. So you guys were just at smoking glass, nothing else. No, we actually stopped uptown. We were picking up a friend, just making sure it was okay. She had an altercation at, I think it was Fat Jack's with the bartender, where mm -hmm. she had to leave early, so I was just checking on her because she called me kind of frazzled. Okay. Have you anything to drink tonight? I had one drink. One drink. When was that? I had it about an hour ago. About an hour ago. Where Where was that at? I had it at Euphoria. And what was it? It was a blue motherfucker. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> like what's in it? Yeah, what, what's what is um, it? I believe it's usually made with vodka and tequila, lemonade, and blue curacao. Okay, so it's just like a mixed drink essentially. Yeah, but it was pretty watered down if I do say so myself. Okay. Yeah. Well, it is euphoria, so I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Yeah. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have you do a couple tests. Just make sure you're good to drive. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's only one drink, so I don't think it's necessarily a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, but also with that, you know, I could smell coming from the inside I of the vehicle. Understand. Is there any in the vehicle at all? Even just a little bit? I'm not worried about it, not planning on writing anybody a ticket, but just for our sake, when we do go through it, just wondering it, are we gonna find anything? Uh, not that I'm aware Even, of. like, just a little bit? Okay. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I mean, you're obviously not responsible for him. I'm just asking you for, to your knowledge, there's nothing in there. Okay, sounds good. Alrighty. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check your eyes, okay? Um, do you have any eye problems or abnormalities? Um, I have a slight astigmatism. Astigmatism? Same. Uh, do you wear glasses or contacts? Um, no. Any medical problems? Do you take any prescription medications? I do. I so, what am I going to do? I'm just going to have you stand right here and then just face me, okay? Mm -hmm. I just need you to place your feet together arms down to your sides. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check your eyes, okay? Mm -hmm. That's why I asked you about the. Uh, any eye problems or abnormalities, okay? 
What I need you to do is keep your head still and follow the movement of my stimulus with your eyes and your eyes only. By stimulus, I mean the tip of my finger here, okay? Mm -hmm. Keep following my stimulus with your eyes only until I tell you to stop. Do you understand the instructions? Yes, sir. Right. Hold. I get it. I'll try and make this as quick as possible, All okay? Right. Okay. Just watch. The follow. finger, yep. not the mark. Make sure you keep your head still and follow with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Is it okay if I put my legs like slightly apart because they feel like I don't normally stand like this? So okay. Do you, like, yeah, if you just need a second, okay. you need to like shake them out or something. That's fine. No, it just is like weird to stand like this. I can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are fine. My legs were cold. Okay. All right, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, okay? Mm -hmm. Just make sure you kind of keep your chin tucked a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, next test I'm going to have you do is a walk and turn test, okay? I'm just going to have you stand right here, mm -hmm. and then just face me, okay? Like turn around right now? Yep, just face me. Okay, and if you could just take one step over to the side, I don't, there's like a little divot here. I don't want you to accidentally step on that, so you just, a little bit, perfect. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend there's a straight line basically mm -hmm. heading here on the ground towards your car, okay? What I need you to do is place your left foot on that line, Place your right foot in front of your left foot with the heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left foot and your arms down at your sides. It's going to look just like this. Maintain that position until I tell you to begin the test, okay? okay. When I say begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps on that line, turn around, and then take nine heel to toe steps back on the line. Okay. You're going to make your turn by keeping your front foot on the line and turn by taking a series of small Can you steps. the last part about how I turn on the line? Because that part, yep. I you're going to keep ADHD. your front. <laughs> You're going to keep your front foot on the line and turn by taking a series of small steps with the other foot. I'm going to demonstrate it for you, so you're going to have an you're going to have a better idea, okay? I'm nervous. My mom is an Air Force vet, and she's killing me if I get in trouble. I get it. Already, I'm going to take three steps, so I'm not stepping out into traffic, okay? okay. One, two, three. Keep your front foot on the line and turn by taking a series of small steps, and then nine steps back. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Again, I took three steps. Make sure that you take nine, all right? Take um, nine and then turn around? Nine, turn around, nine back. Make sure you keep your arms at your side at all times and watch your feet at all times and count your steps out loud. Once you start, don't stop walking until you, 
until you've completed the test. Do you understand the instructions? I do. All right, you can go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alrighty. Next test I'm going to do is uh, the one leg stand test, okay? I'm just going to have you stand there and face me. If you just step over here a little bit, there are cracks and stuff there inside. on the pavement. <laughs> I'm going to take this picture around. Actually. Nope, that's perfectly fine. Alrighty. Alright. Just perfect, right there. When I tell you to raise either foot approximately six inches off the ground, keeping your raised foot parallel to the ground, you must keep both legs straight and your arms at your sides. Hold that position while you count out loud in the following manner. 1,001. 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. It's going to go about 30 seconds. Okay. okay. Let me demonstrate it for you, though. Feet together, arms down at your sides. I'm concerned because I have poor balance, like, in general. Okay. So is that, like, going to hurt me? No. Okay. I'm a very clumsy person. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Right. So just feet together, arms down at your sides. Raise whichever foot you prefer. Okay. I'm going to raise my left foot, okay? Okay. Raise your foot off the ground, keeping it six inches parallel. Can I do it behind me or does it have to be in front of me? In front. Okay. Six inches off the ground, keeping right. your raised foot parallel to the ground. Look at your foot and count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, mm -hmm. 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop, okay? okay. All right. Just give me one second and... Is it like normal to do all of these? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I've never been pulled over before. So nope, <laughs> it's okay. Make sure you keep your arms at your side at all times and watch your raised foot. Do you understand the instructions? I understand. Alrighty, just let me get my timer ready and then we will get this going, okay? Alright. You ready to go? Yeah. Alright, go ahead and begin. One, two, three, one thousand. Need you to put your arms down at your sides, I'm sorry. Five, one thousand. Six, one thousand. Seven, one thousand. Eight, one thousand. Nine, one thousand. Ten, one thousand. Eleven, one thousand. Twelve, one thousand. Thirteen, one thousand. Fourteen, one thousand. Fifteen, one thousand. Sixteen, one thousand. Seventeen, one thousand. Eighteen, one thousand. Nineteen, one thousand. Twenty, one thousand. Twenty-one, one thousand. Twenty-two, okay. one thousand. Sounds good. Um, so. Just give me one second. Yeah. Um, I have one more test for you, really mm -hmm. quick. Um, well, you come out late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not usually a late person. I'll be again after this. I get it. Alrighty. So, all I need you to do. Take a deep breath, moderate, steady breath out. If I need you to blow harder, I'll tell you to blow harder, okay? You'll hear this click when it's done, all right? Ready. So deep breath, moderate steady breath out. If I need you to blow harder, I'll tell you to blow harder, okay? Okay. Blow harder, 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 harder. Hold on. All right, deep breath. And blow out. Harder, 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 harder. Nope, hold on. Okay. Just need you to blow a little bit harder as well, okay? Mm -hmm. It's just gonna... Reset here really quick. What is this testing for? Just curious. Uh, alcohol. Okay. All right, deep breath. And then just make sure you're blowing out harder, okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. That was quick. Okay. I have never seen that before. What's the issue? Um, 
I think I had an error. For just one second, actually. That was strange. Um, do you mind if I get a bigger coat from the car? I have a larger one. Legitimately, we'll be done in one second. Okay. okay. And I have a question, because I had one drink and I know I'm small. Yeah. If I fail, if my boyfriend passes, can he drive me home or do you have to take my car? What do you mean? Like, if I don't pass the breathalyzer test, do, do you have to take my car or do you, like, my boyfriend drive it home? Because it's my mom's and she will kill me. I can't afford a handbound fee. Like, I'm so serious. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, we'll cross that road when we come to it. Okay. Okay. So, just deep breath. And blow out exactly like last time was great. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Alrighty. How's everything? You are over the legal limit. Okay. Uh Can you test my work and see if you can my car home? Just one second. And is it okay if I call my mom? I would rather tell her. I will. Her. Is your phone and stuff in the car? Yes, I okay. I just need you to turn around for me really quick and I'm... Are you gonna cover me? I have to. Okay. Can I tell my boyfriend what's going on first, please? We, we will tell him what's going on, okay? Just go ahead and turn around. Just place your hands behind your back for me, okay? <laughs> Uh, you'll have to get booked there, but you... Am I going to have to post bail? Oh. Say that again? I'm not going to post bail. We will have to go to the jail, yes. Hold on, I need to double lock your cuffs so they don't, like, tighten up on your wrists, okay? Can you take me to the car so I can tell him what's going on, please? I can't. But my phone's in there and we, he doesn't know. We, we, we will get all that, okay? We're just gonna have you walk back here with me. Out, outside of your phone, is there anything? Uh, no. Nothing else? I don't even have my phone. So you want, you want like your, you want your like wallet and your phone? Can you tell my boyfriend to follow us, please? We will tell him everything, okay? <laughs> okay. Alrighty, man. I'm just gonna have you hop on out, okay? We're gonna go right towards that door over here. Let me turn that. Do you want to sit sideways? You can, or you can face me, whichever you prefer. It's not really a huge deal to me, but some people. I don't think it matters. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so, as far as. I'm sorry. Oh, I got it. Um, I have to read this to you word for word. I'm going to do that really quick. I will answer all your questions, explain the jail process and everything to you. What jail? Hold on. I will explain to you how everything works, okay? All right. Subsequent offender, your driving privileges will be suspended for a minimum of six months. If you're not a first offender, your driving privileges will be suspended for a minimum of one year. So I'm looking at one year. So here's the thing. Oh. And I'm sorry. I'm I know. And I told you I would explain everything. To, I'm sorry, are you still reading? I'm I'm done now. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain everything to the best of my ability to you, okay? As far as this is concerned, the these these are the consequences for you for your specific case. You've not had a prior DUI, I'm assuming. No. Okay. So I'm going to ask you for a breath test again here in a minute, okay? Hold on. I'm going to ask you to provide me with a breath test here in a minute. That basically allows any alcohol in your mouth to dissipate. 
So the, and it basically gives you more time to where if you if you had, like you said, you hadn't been drinking for like an hour, then it's probably going to come down a little bit. Okay? So it'll come down a little bit, and you are an 094, you might be under, you might be under the legal limit. Hold on. So if you are under the legal limit, then your driver's license will be suspended. But if you refuse to provide a breath sample, then then your driver's license would be suspended for a year. What happens if I fail? If you, hold on. I'm if, sorry. But if you blow and you are over 0.08, it's only for six months. Then why would I refuse? That's, <laughs> trust me, you are the first person that I've ever heard say that to me. The first person ever. <laughs> That's just like sound logic. For real. I have never had... Never had anybody ever say that out loud, I should say. I'm sorry, I'm a mess. I've never had anything no, like that before. I, it's okay. Is my boyfriend doing a bottle is here? Say that again. He needed to come here. Uh, yeah. Well, I think he's going to meet you over at the, at the jail. And I'm going to explain that to you here in a second, okay? Hold on. We do have to go over there. And I'm, and I'm going to explain this to you. You're very likely not going to have to go into a cell. They're pr probably not even going to put you in a uniform or anything. What's going to happen is we're going to let them know that you have somebody on the way to bond you out. They will basically bring you into the jail. They will photograph you. They'll fingerprint you. And then they'll allow you to make any phone calls if you need to make phone calls. No, you, no, 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 no. Well, that's why we're going to be getting your phone, right? So, they, I don't, does your boyfriend not have a phone? He does. I just, I'm a lousy girlfriend. I don't remember his phone number. He knows mine. Okay. Well, no, 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 it's fine. He was just using your phone to, like, call some people. Yeah, people um, are so that's, at my place, so he's probably the number. Okay, so that's why I was, that's why I was asking specifically about that. Um, so, you know, as long as your boyfriend gives the, the other officer your phone, shouldn't be a problem because you'll be able to access your phone to get phone numbers. Number. The worst case scenario is that I just have to call my mom. <sighs> which is I what nobody anyway, but Which is what nobody ever wants to have to do. <laughs> I feel it's like not the plan. <laughs> I get it. Um yeah basically we're gonna have to go over there. They have to take your picture, they have to fingerprint you. Um Let's have you stand up really quick. And we're basically going to do the same as last time. So is it kind of like a... What is it, like a Long Island? Is it all liquor? Is there like no juice or like anything in there? There is lemonade. Okay, like and a splash, probably. Yeah, which right. I would expect it to be more watered down than this, but yeah. I see that I'm here now. So. Deep breath mm -hmm. and blow out. Got a little bit slower. It's giving like a high flow oh. here. Blowing too hard. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was as well as hard as I can. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'll do a medium one next time. Deep breath, and blow. Perfect. You're still going up. Up? Point 0.105. You were a point oh nine four earlier. It's going up? Yeah. What does that mean, necessarily? Uh... Because how could I go so, up with time if I haven't had a drink since the last time we did you, this? Your body, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to explain, but your body starts absorbing the alcohol, like, initially a little bit slower. 
like through your mouth and in your stomach. But once it gets like through your stomach and into your intestines, like your alcohol content like shoots up pretty fast. Okay. So I'm assuming that it's still like working its way into your system basically. Okay, so do we need to wait then, basically, or can I pee now? Or? Yeah, you can pee. So that's the final test, and I'm guilty. I would not say that. <laughs> you have, you have the whole court process. <laughs> yeah, you have like, the whole court process and everything. Just turn around for me. How I will take often do you see these things? You turn light away, though. Realistically, please don't lie to me. Not, I need to know if it's on my Not that often. So I'm guilty. Off the record. I'm not trying to tell you what to do or how to proceed. I'm just answering your question. Right down here, trivia door on the left, okay? If my car is impounded, if I get it tomorrow, it's like $400? Yep. You, you've never been in any trouble, I'm assuming. Um, so, it seems like... I guess I gotta go. Almost, almost always for first, first DUIs and even first as far as criminal cases are concerned, um, you will very likely just get like maybe some community service and uh, like probation or conditional discharge, which is basically like you don't have to go to jail. Um, and then once you do that term, I think, I think it's probably like 24 months. So you'd have like, basically you'd probably be on like probation or conditional discharge for two years. And as far as all of that's concerned, once that is done, you should probably be able to get it expunged. But I honestly don't know that process. Like, but you have to, once all of that's done, once that like 24 months of probation or whatever's done, uh, that would be the time when you'd be able to get like expunged or removed from your record. But as far as how that whole process works and stuff, yeah, I, don't I, I can't even pretend to know. You basically would have to talk to whoever your attorney is going to be. Like if they sign you a public defender, I would ask them that question. And they should be able to give you a lot better insight than I will be, than I'll be able to because they're an attorney and they've done stuff like that before. Okay? But I don't know if it's like stay in jail or anything until court, no. right? No. Nope. Okay, so my car's at the crib? <sighs> I was hoping they had fucking forgot, okay? <laughs> Please be safe. If it's not too much, I still need to have a drink at the house because this is the worst Friday of my life. And then, so is my driver's license suspended as of now or is nope. it as of... Nope, and I'm going to explain that to you here in a second. Okay. Actually, right here. Okay, so important question. Your suspension slash revocation shall take effect on the 46th day following the issuance of this notice. So, 45 days you can drive. On the 46th day, your driver's license will be suspended. Okay. For six months? Uh, yep. Nope, right over here. It says DUI processing. <laughs> yep. And you can just take a seat. I do need your phone. I do need your phone, though. On February 29th, 2024, the suspect pled guilty to driving under the influence. Online court records show other traffic charges were dismissed. The suspect was sentenced to 24 months supervision, alcoholism treatment, and ordered to pay $2,043.50 in fines and fees.